Hello, and welcome to this introduction to the Spark programming language and toolset. This is a Spark program. It may look like a normal ADA program, but it isn't. Spark is partly a subset of ADA for safety and security critical development, partly a set of annotations to specify desired properties of programs, and partly a set of tools to enforce such properties. In this program, you can see Spark annotations in light blue appearing inside special comments. They can be mixed with the program, introduced each time by a keyword in bold type. The GNAP Programming Studio interface gives access to all the Spark tools through its Spark menu. There are two kinds of properties that a user may express using Spark annotations. The most important is data and control coupling in the program. All safety and security standards place special attention on the specification and verification of data and control dependencies. Most often, both specification and verification are not formal relying instead on manual reviews, which can be both time-consuming and error-prone. In Spark, data and control dependencies can be defined formally using own annotations to specify state and global and derives annotations on sub-programs to specify dependencies. The Spark examiner allows checking automatically of these dependencies. A byproduct of this automatic verification is that Spark programs cannot contain reads of uninitialized data, which is also a crucial soft point in many critical software developments. A user may also specify in Spark the functional behavior of a program using contracts on subprograms. A precondition introduced by PRE states the obligation for the caller of a subprogram. A POST condition introduced by POST or RETURN states the obligation for the subprogram called. Both precondition and POST condition take the form of arbitrary Boolean expressions over program variables and functions, which allows the specification of a wide range of functional behaviors. The Spark Simplifier and Spark Bridge tools allow for the automatic proving of these contracts. A byproduct of this automatic verification is that Spark programs are free from most runtime errors, including all memory checks and integer constraints. The purpose of this series of demos is to show the practical benefits that the Spark language and toolset bring for developing safety critical and security critical code. We will start with a stripped down version of a database library used to manage banking accounts and we will progressively enrich it as we go along. Along the way, we will not only show how to use Spark annotations and tools, but also how formal methods with Spark support regular software engineering and can be integrated as part of a larger development.